the patient has gone from being asleep to being awake. Uh, sleep apnea means we hold our breath, stop breathing when, when we sleep. Typically, our airway closes. When you sleep, your muscles relax, not just your arm and leg muscles, but these muscles relax as well. So as they relax, you'll start to <sighs> snore. Uh, the more you relax, the, uh, the more you sleep, the more these tissues relax until finally <sighs> you suck your airway closed, you block it off. That's apnea, you're not breathing. Then you work harder to breathe. Some people work so hard to breathe, they may sweat during the night, they may wake up with headaches, some people don't. Eventually you generate enough pressure until you finally go <laughs> and you start breathing again and, you, and your airway opens up, but the brain wakes up. And if that's happening 50, 100, 300 times a night, your brain is waking up 50, 100, 300 times a night. Sometimes I would wake up in the middle of the night gasping for air. It's just the soft tissue in my throat when I sleep at night closes my airwave. And the only way to overcome that is to have something intervening to keep your airway open. CPAP is basically a, a mask that you wear either over your nose or a little cannula that you wear in your nose. The problem is you're tethered to a machine. Not everyone can tolerate that tethering a mask that fit over like my whole face and I tried sleeping with that for you know three or four nights and I was just having the worst time because it was really so overwhelming. The newest option and actually the newest in about the last 25 years is something called Provent. Uh, Provent is a little nasal plug. It's not very deep, it's a quarter of an inch deep just plugs up in the nose and there's a little band-aid that holds it on. So you put the plug in your nose, the band-aid holds it on. This is a one-way valve. So what it does is the valve is open when you breathe in, no problem, you breathe fine. When you exhale, there's four little windows, valves if you will, uh, that are going to partially close uh, and when they partially close, it partially blocks your airway. So when you breathe in, you're fine. When you breathe out, if I partially block my airway, you get a resistance from the blockage. That makes my nostrils flare. That causes a back pressure, which is transmitted to your throat, and that back pressure acts like CPAP. So instead of wearing a big machine tethered to a mask, patients only wear this. It's very non-intrusive. Um, it's um, it's very sanitary also. You open a packet every night and put, put these um, devices on in your, you know, by your nostrils. And so um, it's very lightweight. When I travel, I don't have any of the equipment to tra that I need to travel with anymore. I wouldn't want to, you know, I wouldn't want to go back. Um, it's just very liberating. I can roll over into any position and, and be comfortable when I sleep. It's just made a huge difference.